Hamlin to drop the puck in game number four of this series tonight. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere, all the way. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Center in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. Made the stop on the play. He's so fast and strong, but he can turn on a dime. And if he turns and you're just a step behind him, guess what? You're not getting back in, and he's going to take it to the paint. Shot! Glove save made by Hellebuck. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Scores! And a little home cooking pays off as they get on the board quickly here. Gotta love the home cooking, James, as this team really fires up the crowd with that start and sending a clear message they want this game. But without a ton of time and space in that high slot area, he makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot, pulls it into the feet, disguises the angle, and beats the goalie clean. Winnipeg's talked a lot about getting off to good starts, and look at this, case in point right here. Well, yeah, you get up by one goal early in the game, and it just creates momentum all around your bench. Everyone gets on the ice, they want to contribute, they want to be the one to get the goal on the board and continue to increase this lead. I think they've been real effective to start this game. Give some nothing in front. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot, and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Anaheim's got the win off that draw. Feeds it on over to Strom. Good hit to pump him off the puck. The Jets gain control of the puck. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Niederreiter. Centering pass! And that's stopped! Snaps it on net! McTavish has got the puck in his own zone. Poked away at center by Dillon. He carries the puck up along the wing. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Appleton's known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Tries to the paint. Oh, what a stop by Hellebuck. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Gets the puck in deep. Quick feed to Carlson. The Ducks take it along the wing. The Jets gain control of it. Fires it into the offensive zone. Anaheim's looking to break out. Here's a chance! And he gets in front of that. Sends the pass over. Back at the point, they set it up. Stopped by Hillebuck. You can really sense the nervous energy here from the home fans here with this pressure. There's a hit on the play. And the defensive team's got it now. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed. McGinn's gonna play it against the half wall. And it's knocked away with a stick save by the goaltender. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. It doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. They are swarming around like bees here in the O zone. And they skated out of the danger zone. Takes a shot. And that's deflected off someone in front. Great glove save! We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that glove save. Anaheim's got a lot of time to get back into this one. Lots of scoring chances, but they're still down. The Jets win it. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Hitting up along the boards. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. And he slides it quickly to Matrano. Pokes it away in his own end. Gets 
the puck in deep. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Through center. And he loses control here. Moves it quickly over to Gustafson. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Works it across to Lindstrom. The Jets get a hold of it. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Whoa! Anaheim's got the puck. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Back to the point it goes. And a strong defensive effort to get in front of that. Too many bodies in the way. Aya follows, gaining momentum. And a stick break set up. The Ducks will play it in their own end. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Quick feed to Fowler. Denies him in close. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Well past the midway mark of this period. Winnipeg's ahead 1-0. Shifley's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Pionk. Shifley's stick handling in his own zone. Quick shot! That's blocked! Picked up along the wall by Ehlers. Passes ahead from the right side. Ehlers never gave up on that play, James. It's a reason why he was able to get a shot off. Listen, I'll also tell you, not everyone has the skill set to be able to pull it off. I mean, he stumbles, he gets the puck in tight, and he still finds a way to get it to the net. That's an incredible display of skill and, of course, compete level. Moves the puck. Puts it on the net. There's the whistle. That pane of glass was busted after that heavy shot. Probably terrified those fans right behind it. Yeah, everyone flinching just thinking that puck was going to go straight through but a testament to how strong the glass is nowadays it doesn't shatter it just simply spiders nonetheless it has to be replaced and it takes a shot off the crossbar official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds here in the late going of the frame the jets have taken a one nothing lead puck is dropped and we are back underway taken by lindstrom and now he tries to get it across to McGinn. And that's taken by the defense. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Winnipeg's on the attack. Rocked him in the open ice. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Looking to set up offensively. For point leg. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Trying to engage a little physicality here. Shot! Oh, and that just skips home in the net. What a chance there, Pounder! Well, he was in tight, but he wasn't able to convert. You could just see those hands close to his body. The Ducks have had their opportunities, but they just can't capitalize here in the late stages of the opening period. And he hangs on just as time runs out. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. There's the whistle as the play is offside. The Ducks can't get discouraged here. They've had more shots on goal. They've been the better team so far, despite trailing in the second. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Grabbed along the board by Ehlers. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. And he takes the dish. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Anaheim's in on the offensive attack now. Oh, he hammered on the play. Oh, this is just.
just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Quick pass to Fowler. The Jets get a hold of the puck in the open ice. And he's knocked off the puck there. Puck grabbed by Fowler. Takes the feed, moving in. From the point, looks to make something happen. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Great use of the stick at center by McTavish. Puck scooped up by Morrissey. Moves it to Malarney. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Stops him with the glove! In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Jets lead it 1-0. McTavish has won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Moves it quickly over to Kalorn. Winnipeg's moving it along the wing. Anaheim's got the puck. An easy pass save made by Gibson. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. The Ducks take possession off the faceoff. Takes the feed. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Quick feed to Nemestikov. Oh. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. How did he stop that one? We can The Ducks need to find a way to convert on one of these scoring chances as they trail here in period number two. The Jets win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Here he is in front! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Oh, he'll feel that one. Taken along the wall by Jones. Trying to get back on the attack now. Moves it to McGinn. They go on the attack through center. Picked up along the boards by Jones. Winnipeg's got it behind the net. Gaining momentum along the wing. And that pass goes off a stick. McKinn's carrying it ahead. Makes the save. Hellebuck's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head and focus in the game. Hellebuck's a goaltender who finds his rhythm the more shots he faces within the course of a game, guys. That's his workhorse zone ability, and it's how he stays engaged with the play. Scooped up along the wall by McTavish. Handles the puck. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. up along the wall by Lowry. Tries to feed it over to Morrissey. Oh, stop the score! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Winnipeg's now up by two here in the second. They really pushed the pace this entire game, James. It's going to be a question as to whether they can really close it out. And the first few strides have been urgent. That tells me they've been prepared right from puck drop. He gets the full use of the step of the puck check. Scores! James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time for his pace to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Winnipeg's carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick, and their opponent's been on their heel. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seen so much rubber tonight, and a lot in the netting. 
The Jets have it now. possession fires it into the offensive zone the Jets have it now along the side here they come through the neutral zone quick pass to Connor oh and a board rattling hit right there uh, certainly was lined up perfectly body on body weight distributed right in there Puck picked up by Connor gain momentum up along the side from the point, they take control of it. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Gibson. There's another great save. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Scores! And look who's right on the doorstep, and he didn't miss that one. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battling to compete for it. He does it, and he buries it. The Ducks finally get one back. Now can they get a few more? Uh, you certainly know that you can get back in a game, only a two-goal deficit, and sometimes it doesn't take long when you're on your toes and you're playing with urgency. Anaheim's won the draw in the neutral zone. To the point. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Grabbed along the boards by Ayafalo. Moves it around along the half wall. And he had an answer with that save. Here's a short pass to Ayafalo. Slides the puck over to Matrano. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Hillebuck. Battle along the boards. The Jets have it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Schmidt. Moves it to Terry. Ah, uh -uh. Beautiful defensive effort. Shot denied by the goaltender. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Late goings of this period. Anaheim still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. The Jets win that offensive zone faceoff. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Jets probably don't want this period to end given the way things have played out here tonight. 100% agree with you. They got the mojo, they're moving the puck, they got a comfortable lead. The last thing they want to do is have an intermission which can pause and give their opponents some rest that they need. Big time hit on the play. Moves it quickly over to Nemestikov. Here we go, pucks in deep. Angles it over to McTavish. The Ducks are on the attack. Here's a chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Anaheim's had the shots tonight, but they cannot find that finish here late in the second period. McTavish has won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Big stop right there. Hellebuck's one of those goaltenders that the busier he gets, the more efficient he becomes, and it's save after save as his confidence grows and he's more dialed into the game. Oh, a spectacular save right there! Wow. Unbelievable! I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Teed up and turned away on his part. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Velarde. Knocked away with the stick by Fowler. 
After the flushion. Oh, and the buzzer a big save. We've played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Go stretch your legs, because a big third period is just around the corner. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving face at one end of the ice. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Jets have built themselves a healthy lead through two periods, and now it's about bringing it home, James. And in order to do that, you need to manage the puck, keep it simple, and make smart decisions with it. He got all of that hit. Slides the puck over. Here they are on the attack. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded in close space so fast and just taken down. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Jets lead at 4-1. Shifley's won a big draw on their own end. Winnipeg's in transition. Tremendous hit into the boards, and that's a finishing play. At center, takes the pass. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Shifley. Slides it back to the blue line. Shot! Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Gibson's really struggled tonight, and the team in front of him as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum of this game if they want to get back in it. A uh, Howard serve, and that's blocked away. Slip feed. Oh, denied on the play! Wow! Oh, a true competitor save just when you think that he's completely out of it, James. He comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Play continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what? We saw what a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Sorry for jumping in, James, but that was a massive hit. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Carlson. And now it's grabbed by Silverberg. Slides it diagonally to Labushkin. That's turned away with the pad by Hellebuck. Here's a short pass to DeMello. Handles the pass. Moves it to Nemestikov. Fires it on net. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Silverberg's got it across the line. Puck sent over to Perfetti. The Jets carry it along the wall. The Ducks look to start the transition game. And he takes the feed. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Centering pass. And that's stopped. Taken along the wall by Bakaninen. The Jets have it behind the net. Tries to get it to Nemestikov. Moves it quickly over to Schmidt. There's a firm collision. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Great reach with the poke check. And he takes the feed. Aaron's having himself a game, James, and he's already got a goal. Puck's on his stick and really looking to do some more damage. Looks to make a play over to Terry. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Quick feed to Barrett. Now he takes it over the line. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? And another save. But Toronto's picking up steam. And that's deflected. Quick pass to Terry. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Now a quick pass to Carrick. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. That's some smart heads-up defensive play by DeMello. 
slides the puck across to Jones. Winnipeg's gained possession. The Jets take it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Niederreiter. Drills him. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Taken by Dillon. Fires it. Pass save. Oh, he got all of that one. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Sends it in on the attack. DeMello's moving the puck through his own zone. And it's a quick pass to Velarde. Over the line they come. For Portland. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Receives the pass. Across the line from center. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Moves it to Dillon. Misses over the net. Puck grabbed by Ehlers. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Gibson. Here we go. Look at this. They're really applying the squeeze down in the offensive end. And he takes the pass. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. In the final moments of this period, Winnipeg's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. And sneaks in and grabs oh. possession. And that's poked away. Scooped up along the wall by Appleton. The Jets gain possession. Moves it quickly over to Nemestikov. Big time save by Gibson. Oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, what a blocker stop by Hillebuck. And that's a great heads-up play by Morrissey. Perfetti's got it along the wing. Oh, a clutch save! Back to the blue line. Plenty of offense tonight, and they lead here late in this third period. There's the horn, and they finish the job. They're moving on. It's been a party atmosphere all night, and it continues here. Moving on to the next round after we the performance in this series and the home fans are loved. Yeah, they appreciate it, don't they? And, and it's not just the entertainment value of the flash and dash, but also the simple effectiveness of the old school playoff hockey, just closing up the ice, finishing a check, and making a simple first pass. Hope you had as much fun as we did here tonight, and we will see you the next time. At least we hope so. From all of us here at EA Sports, take care, everyone.